Castle here at Park Plaza in Boston, Massachusetts has been the setting for many fight cards in Beantown over the past few years. Many nationally televised and we are so privileged to be bringing you this fight on the internet at www.boxingherald.com and also thank you to our friends in the United Kingdom helping us out with tonight's fight broadcast at www.secondsouth.com. And Charles Howe forgetting to put on his mouthpiece before <laughs> he heads out for round eight. His trainer rushes to him, gets the mouthpiece in before the fight begins. And John Duddy comes out, means business. He's throwing some left hooks to the body. Right now looks like he's trying to set Howe up with that left jab. I give Duddy a lot of credit. He's really revived um, Boston interest in boxing. The last guy to do what he's doing now was Stevie Collins back in the 1990s. He also was an Irish fighter, fought a super middleweight. He fought at the, um, the Fleet Center, which is now the TD Bank North Garden, on uh, several occasions. Yeah, you think of fighters who have really captured the imagination of Bostonians. You think of guys like marvelous Marvin Hagler, of course, a great example, middleweight champ in the 1980s. In the 1990s, you got to remember, Dana Rosenblatt, who was a top 10 middleweight and super middleweight for a long time, really gained himself a lot of fans and got a lot of interest in boxing. John Duddy, oh, lands a right uppercut and a left hook to Charles Howe. But John Duddy certainly getting the interest of the Irish community here in Boston and getting himself fans all across the United States and worldwide. Perhaps the one area Duddy needs to work on still is fighting a guy who's against the ropes. He has not done a great job tonight of pounding Howe when he's against the ropes. His mo most of his success has been in the center of the ring. Well, there you go. Howe's up against the ropes. Duddy fires a combination to the body. Hits with the jab to the left, left jab to the face. John H Duddy now with Howe on the ropes. Trying to fire more punches than he has up until this point in the evening while he's had Howe on the ropes. I take back what I said about the rope thing, Peter. Oh, well, maybe Duddy heard you, though I doubt it with all the chanting and cheering of his fans here in Boston. But made a conscious effort to throw more punches at Howe while he had his back up against the ropes. And now with Howe up against the ropes one more time, Duddy going to work once again. Every time Howe is against the ropes, he fires back with just looping wild punches. And they either don't land or catch Duddy on the side of his body or block and not affecting Duddy nevertheless. Howe is, however, fighting back, providing some good action. I, I'm actually very happy for the denizens of the Boston boxing scene. They're treated to a great fight tonight, which they um, very much deserve. Well, round eight comes to a conclusion. John Duddy doing some good work in that last round while he had his opponent Charles Howe up against the ropes, firing combinations to the body, doing his best to throw punches that land cleanly and scoring points against his game opponent, but John Duddy once again with another convincing round.